So in this problem, the user enters a text and we are supposed to output the grade level at which the text is. So to do that, we need to count the number of sentences, the number of words and the number of letters and put that into this formula where L is the average number of letters per 100 words in the text and S is the average number of sentences per 100 words in the text. So I'm going to write code for this and explain everything. So meanwhile, smash that like button. So first of all, I'm going to include standard out at cs50.h and then I'm going to write int main void and then I'm going to ask the user for an input right here. So I'm going to say get string text. Let's say this is s and so after doing this I am going to count the number of words, the number of sentences in this text and the number of letters in this text. After doing that, I'm going to set the number of words, number of sentences, and the number of letters. I'm going to initialize all of them to be zero, and then I'm going to loop over this string s. I'm going to say in i equals zero, i less than the length, which can be figured out with the help of the Sterling function, which is inside the string library, string dot h, i plus plus. But you know what? We can do a better job of figuring out the length by storing this length in a variable instead of calling sterling again and again and again. So we've done this to avoid that recomputation. So now, how do we calculate the number of letters, the number of words, and the number of sentences in this text? So let me explain. Let's say you have entered this text. You are there. In this text, we've got a bunch of sentences are you there question mark okay so the number of sentences is going to be equal to the number of exclamation marks number of full stops the number of question marks okay the number of these characters okay that's the definition according to the problem set over here now after that, what we need to do is we need to figure out the number of words. Number of words, to figure out the number of words, what we need to do is we need to look at every single character and we want to check if the ith character and the i plus one ith character have a special property. So if the ith character is a blank space and the i plus one ith character is not a blank space, okay? So what I'm saying is if the ith character, if that a blank space and the i plus one ith character, if it, that's not a blank space, then we can consider that we found a word over here. So we can increment the number of words by one. Okay. And number of letters, we can increment the number of letters anytime we find s of i to be an alphabet we can use the is alpha function to do that so if is alpha the number of letters can be incremented by one okay so it will become more clear as we code it up so what's going to happen is i'm going to check if s of i that i'm looking at the current character if it is alpha an is alpha function is present in c type dot h which include c type dot h then I'm going to increment the number of letters if i is zero so now what's going to happen is if I am looking at this y over here i at this point of time is zero so this is the array i is 0 here, i is 1 here, i is 2 here. Okay. When i is 0, this, this is a special case, if i is 0 and my s of i, that's not equal to a blank space, then what I'm going to do here is I can consider that I have started a word over here. So I'm going to increment the number of words by 1. So num words plus plus. So if 
i is 0 and s of i is not a blank space if this is true or if this condition right over here if this condition is true if s of i equals a blank space and s of i plus 1 is not equal to a blank space then we can increment num words plus 1 the reason is you can look at look at look at this case whenever there is a blank space followed by a non blank space then we can say we found another word so we can increment the number of words by one in that case so i can do i can say if i is not the last character and if i is not the last character i is not the last index and s of i is equal to a blank space followed by a non blank space okay if this is true then i can increment the number of words by 1 okay and i can format this so that this looks better so after that what i can see say is if the current character s of i if we have a period over here or we have a question mark or if we have an exclamation mark then we found a sentence so i can say num of sentences plus plus okay so after doing this we need to calculate l and s to find out the index so what is L? Well, L is the number of letters per 100 words. So I'm going to find out how many. So we have figured out how many words are there. If I divide the number of letters by the number of words, we can find the number of letters per word. And if we multiply that by 100, we can find the percentage. So to do that, I'm going to do this times 100 okay because we need to find per 100 words instead of one word this is simple percentage calculation any th thing divided by the total number of things multiplied by 100 but what you notice here is this is an integer and this is also an integer so this division operation will be an integer division so to prevent that I am going to convert or typecast the denominator to a float so that the division is a floating point division so for doing this I'm going to say float s equals I'm going to find the percent date of number of sentences divided by float into 100 and finally I'm going to find out the index to find out the index I am going to use this formula over here and this should actually be an integer over here so I'm going to round this number that I get from this formula I need to include math.h once we do this a job is easy now we just need to figure out what grade level this text is so to do that I'm going to say if index is less than 1 then we are supposed to print F grade 2 grade so whatever grade we find in the variable index we're supposed to print that at the end of the day we are supposed to print something like this okay grade followed by an integer backslash n new line index okay but what happens if the index is less than one then we are supposed to print before grade one otherwise if the index is greater than or equal to 16 supposed to print f grade 16 plus backslash n backslash n over here as well 
and then otherwise we need to print out this okay the index grade index okay this seems like this should work so I'm gonna make readability number of sentences okay let's go here make readability dot slash readability let's enter let's enter this guy over here okay we find this is grade 3 and let's just check 50 you should probably try more examples check 50 so let's check 50 run meanwhile I'm going to summarize this entire thing okay so what's happening here is I'm including all the libraries and then I'm taking input from the user after that I'm calculating the number of words number of sentences and the number of letters in the text so after doing that what I'm doing is I'm figuring out L which is the percentage of letters the, and S the percentage of sentences and then I'm using the index I'm using the formula given in the spec to figure out my index and then I'm looking for which grade this index corresponds to and printing out that index or an appropriate message so you can see this this is working and that's pretty much it like share subscribe and comment down below if you have more solutions. Peace.